Okay, so the last thing we are going to do to this chord progression here is we're going to add in some bass notes to it. It's just going to make it sound a little bit fuller um, as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow the root note of each of these chords. So chord 1, which is C major, um, the root note of C major is C. Chord 2, which is our A minor chord, and the root note of that is going to be A. And then our third chord here, which is our D minor chord, the root note of that is going to be D. And then finally, our G major chord, the root note of our G major chord is going to be G. So uh, let's add in the uh, bass notes. Okay, so starting off at our C major chord, let's add in our first bass note, which is going to be C, because uh, that's the root note of C major. So let's just pop that one in. So we've got C. Then moving on to chord two here, um, we've got A minor. So the root note is going to be A. And then moving on to our third chord, we've got our D minor chord. So the root note of that is going to be D. And then finally, our last chord, our G major chord, and the root note of G major is going to be our G, which is right here. And now, the next thing I want to do here is I want to add in another octave of bass notes. So I'm going to shift down another octave um, below the bass notes we um, just added in here. So let's do the same thing all over again. So we've got C. Then to our A. And then to our D. And then lastly, our G. Now, let's actually uh, hear uh, this chord progression back now with our bass notes in there. Now you can hear um, after playing that back that the bass notes actually does a lot for the sound so it creates a more uh, bigger sounding uh, chord progression. <laughs> 